Hello, I'm Bernard Svez, a Tiki specialist. In this video today, I will show you the new unified admin backend that have been introduced into Tiki 23. So let's jump in right now with that new uh, Tiki 23 that I just installed. I'm logged as admin already. I expand the system menu and in settings, I go to the control panels. So that's the usual uh, uh, admin dashboard and control panel that you can find when you are uh, in advanced mode with a lot of buttons here. And if you go to look and feel, admin team, you can see now there is a unified admin backend checkbox. I enable it, apply, and ta-da! On the top, the left side, you have now all the component of the new uh, unified admin backend. You can expand shorter the, the, the width of the, the column, of the left column. Now, we still have the four uh, uh, menu tools for the admin. We have the setting preferences and the search preference. Now, something interesting in the admin dashboard, we have now possibility to add modules. So let's add the default modules. As you can see here, uh, Tiki detect that I already installed them. So uh, it asked me to reapply. And back to our admin dashboard, as you can see, there are modules that have been installed. Uh, of course, it's quite empty because uh, this is brand new Tiki, but as soon as I start to change wiki page, tracker item, etc., etc., it will fill up. Now, what is really interesting is that it's a new area from the module. So if I go to system modules, I got now the tab admin and I can add or remove or create a custom module and have it there. So it's a really cool feature that's really neat. If you learned something and like that video, don't forget to like and to subscribe to my channel and see you for my next video tutorial. Bye bye everyone.